Come on, let's sing to her. I, I, no, tell them that is. Uh, no, but you know I can't. You know I can't sing. You know I've had like a sore yeah, throat yeah, for like Baker 20 years. Yeah, yeah, Baker can't sing still, you know. You, you always sound like you need some water. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, I know. You're yeah, just so sound. sensitive, isn't it, Baker? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> Man them was man them and our online series was doing really well um, and what happened was that a guy called Levi David which is a new writer of Youngers, Big Talk Productions which is the production company for Youngers were doing the show, the writer that was originally there wasn't attached to the project anymore when Levi came in they just basically asked him what would you do to spice up the show, what would you do to make it new, to make it fresh and Levi just said oh I'd, I'd, I'd get guys in like Man on the Wall and they said Man on the Wall, who's Man on the Wall? And Levi said, these guys on YouTube, they're really, really current, they've got a really good fan base, and they just looked at our YouTube, decided to check it out, and realised that this is something that they wanted to attach to the project. Then got in, in contact with us, and then a couple of weeks had a later, few meetings, yeah, had a few yeah. meetings. And, and then I think it's a true testament to the fact that if you go out and create your own opportunities, um, things, it, does, it, does, it does work, basically. The process does work. And... For youngers, it's, it was that's the definite example and something I can talk with credentials and saying to people, hey, like, go and do it. Do you know what I mean go yeah. and do what you love, and something can happen as well. Yeah. For you. I do. I do feel like there's gonna forever be opportunities that are not presented to young people, yeah. and that's something that's gonna carry on until someone does something that makes that slightly better. But then even when it's slightly better, it's still not gonna see up people coming out and having jobs left, right and centre and I think that's something where a, a mentality needs to be developed and it's down yeah. to down to us and, and whoever else wants to take that responsibility on to give these young people a mentality where they, they decide to take their own opportunities, yeah. go out there and make things happen for themselves because if not, then th like like, we say, uh, nothing's uh, going to happen. To be honest, like uh, our success has come out of not having an opportunity. The lack of opportunity drove us to do what we did. So. Yeah. Uh, I believe the lack of opportunity will drive people to do more if they if they want if as they long want as they it. yeah switch yeah. on and because have the right mentality. Sometimes it's not what you get in terms of what you achieve; it's what you become as well as a person. And I believe like this journey has presented us so many different challenges. Um, but to start from nothing, from scratch, to to create what we have created, to those people who might not even like what we've done, but can just respect that. And and for us, it's like we have developed such more character to take on to new challenges and we have a legacy that we need to create as well so it's definitely a defining chapter of our lives and I wish that yeah we're just going to take it on and, and conquer basically. Yeah. The skit that you were just talking about, that skit was basically called Wrong Turn and what it is is that these characters, the man them, they turn the corner and they see a group of boys that are intimidating. And then when they look at the, the boys, they're thinking, oh, these boys are gonna, are gonna move to us, these boys are gonna try and rob us. And they don't realize that these boys that they're thinking are gonna rob them are thinking exactly, exactly the, the same, same thing. thing. And this is all kind of just stemmed from experiences that we have, experiences that we know other people have. And we like to touch on these, these things. And a lot of these things are, 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 are seen but unsaid. And yeah. we like to bring it to the surface to make people, so people realize. people can talk about them. Yeah. The, the, I like, think, okay, so what's the reality and, behind yeah. it? Yeah. And when you, have, when, you, when you have the ability of comedy, it, it allows you to touch on so many subjects that you'd never be able to bring to the surface because they'd be too sensitive or they'd be too too risky or too people won't look at it in the best light but when you have comedy around it you can touch on these subjects and just bring them to a surface of conversation whereas usually if you touch on something that is a bit too deep people, people are just, too uncomfortable shy away to even talk about yeah exactly and what we try to do is just to get them to talk so they can do you know what I mean just yeah. just so you can talk just and open it up. that can then obviously help or heal a, a community <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Everything, I think everything we do is awareness raising and especially with that situation when the characters go and they go to talk to girls and the girls think that they're going to try and get their numbers. Another skit that we did was the, the key skit where Failure and Tiny run up to, to this girl and they say, oh, like, how you doing, how you doing? And she automatically assumes that they're going to try and get the number, but they're not trying to do it. They're just saying, look, you dropped your keys. I just wanted yeah. to give you back your keys. And 
again, it, it, it's people having this view and we just kind of open the mind yeah. to, to, for people to realise that, hold on a minute, not everyone is trying to do what you, you think they're trying to do. Don't stereotype people just because they look a certain way. It means that they're going to do a certain thing. No, that's not the case. That's not always going to happen. And we just try to shed light on that and allow people to understand it. <laughs> People always say negative things about the media, yeah? Right now, with social media, I think we're in a place now where the unheard can finally be heard. Yes, Do you, you understand? Yes, yes. You create People. your own media now. It's like there's, there's, there's news that, yeah, you, you can discover, basically, due to the fact that we have social mediums to, do, to present that. A big thing with the media is when people look at the news and anytime I watch the news, it's often a lot of bad news. I like to kind of deem the news as bad news because you never, never really hear about yeah, anyone about doing war. well or, or anyone that's really doing big things. Even yeah. in the papers, the majority of the tabloids are something negative. People are always trying to find the latest scoop, not the latest positive scoop, but the latest negative scoop. But at the same time, social media, without having social media, we'd have never been able to do what we've done. Yeah. So there's obviously good that's come out of that. Even when you look at people that have, like Jamal Edwards, SBTV, he'd have never been able to do what he's done without the social media of YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and all these things coming together to be able to present opportunities. So at the same time, I think there's two sides to every story. There's bad and good, evil and, and um, the hero and, and hopefully yeah, and all that prevails. stuff. Yin and yang. <laughs> yeah, good yag. Yeah. <laughs> the lack of opportunities presented in, in general, not just like there's there's a lot of, of news and a lot of things that have been talked about when it comes to like um, Lenny Henry talking about like lack of Asian blacks and, and minorities yeah, on yeah, TV. Yeah. And that, that's a really big deal. I, I feel like that is something that, that hasn't been addressed. And it's kind of it's, it's, it's a lot of the time it's being talked about as, yeah, there, there's something that's being done about it. But a lot of the time people talk about something and just the fact that they're talking about it, they feel like they're solving the problem. Yeah. And the problem assume not, someone else is dealing with the problem. Exactly. And, and the problem's not being solved. And I think the only way that the problem is going to get solved is when people start trusting a bit more. And a lot of the time, there's so many opportunities where there's people that have amazing, amazing ideas and things that they want to get created, things they want to make, but they don't have an opportunity where someone says to them, look, I'm going to trust you. I'm going to allow you to have an opportunity to make this and, and, and see where it goes. And until you get the opportunity to do that, then it's never going to stem to a point where you gain the respect and you gain the trust of the industry to be able to, to do what you want to do. Because what it is, I feel like, Entertainment for us anyway and for people our demographic in terms of what they can relate to. I've grown up and watching US TV, um, my wife and kids in Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and there was nothing really for me in the UK and I would like to see something different, something change about that. Something that we always say, you know, you know, it would be nice to see play characters that just go for have milkshakes. This is what we do, you know. And, and we too like go that. to Tinseltown and have an Oreo <laughs> shake. You know, but you don't see that on TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not entertaining enough. I yeah. Think. I think all of our plans <coughs> that we have for the future are both related and um, an extension of what we want to do outside of Man and the Wall. We created our own um, entertainment and production company called JPD Free Entertainment. That is a responsibility that we've taken upon ourselves to say, okay, cool. Let's like, be the pioneers. Yeah, let's be the pioneers. Let's, let's not run to America like what a lot of actors in the UK do and try and seek opportunities there because all that's going to happen is, is that... leave a problem here. Yeah, someone needs to stop and say, look, I want to be able to pave a way in, in, in the UK for, for that opportunity to, to arise and for the next guy to come across and say, oh, look, those guys did it. Now I don't have to do it because otherwise it's going to be a continuous cycle that's never going to be broken. <laughs> If you want to change something, then you have to change yourself. And be the change you want to see. Be the change you want. And I think that's where you, the start of change happens. And in ourselves, personally, and even on a creative aspect and stuff like that, we have been changing along this journey to grow so we can become the role models for young people to see and hopefully we can inspire them. So, so you ask, are we optimistic about the future? Well. We're optimis optimistic about our future. And our, if our future affects other people, then we are optimistic about <laughs> our future. <laughs> that was one of the speeches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah the tone and stuff. Yeah. <laughs>